What's going on guys? So a couple weeks ago, I got invited to a private mastermind hosted by Charles Float. And the craziest thing is that if you look up London's most like premier hotels and you scroll down, here's an article on the Michelin Guide, you scroll down, the first one that comes up is the one that we were at, the Bulgari Hotel in London. It was crazy. And so here's some of the footage from the event. We had this like private kind of room and then we we're all hosted in these bunker-like, super thick walled kind of private rooms. It was incredible. Anyway, enough about the event itself. Here's just some more footage. There's also pictures of like random famous people that have stayed at this hotel. It was like over like one and a half grand just to stay there for one night. It was crazy. Anyway, uh, enough about the actual event venue, which was very cool. Highly recommend you check out Charles's masterminds and all that. And now I have Charles Flo telling us how to win in 2025 with SEO and what he's going to be doing specifically. And I also have two big e-com SEO guys telling us what they're doing in 2025 to beat all of their competitors. Let me know what you guys think. So we got Charles here. First of all, phenomenal event, dude. Thank you. Yeah, Congrats on that. It. Yeah, thank you. And the venue is fucking sick as we saw. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we saw in the video, but the question for this video that we have is, how are you doing SEO in 2025? I'm moving towards a more international approach, to be fair, because English SEO is very different now, and it is very, very different now. And I would have said this a few years ago, but it's gotten significantly worse to the point where even the HCU only really affected English-speaking sites. And competing internationally is literally costing me pennies on the dollar to compete in English and you can sometimes in some cases earn higher CPAs and higher commissions and things right and with AI as well you can translate stuff far easier I don't need translators or rights in those countries we just need editors to check that it's okay and it's good enough in that language mm -hmm. and even now nowadays especially with like O1 Pro mode just coming out mm -hmm. it's really good at translating mm -hmm. like if you've seen the the new language bars and things it's, yep. it's absolutely incredible yep. at doing that so we've now trying to move more and more towards just doing the international offers and stuff and trying to keep out of English. The only English stuff we're doing is e-commerce and I'm still doing consultancy and kind of tracking updates and things like that. But really, I, I think that Google's just moving to a position where the engineers don't even know what the hell's going on. And it is really a black box algorithm and it's much easier to manipulate it in other languages than it is in English and it's far more profitable. So, yeah. And what about Parasite? Oh Parasite, yeah, pa Parasites are the only things in English that they're still smashing it mm. really. But with that being said, they're still doing better in foreign now than they are in English. So it's still better to do Parasite in foreign than it is in English nowadays. Sick. Yeah, but with that being said, if you can do Parasite partnerships, right, which is what Jackie Chow does mostly, yep. I think that's the, the big goal up for, for e mm. And especially if you're already in a niche, you've got the partnerships, you've got all that stuff sorted, you can really end up easily making a lot more money with the Parasite partnership than you ever could on your own. Mm. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, mate. All right, guys. So we got one of the big e-com guys here. Also, a uh, clip of last year's Birmingham conference with yeah, your McLaren. McLaren. We're going to put that clip in right now. But uh, so we have the guy here. So question for the video is SEO in 2025. What are you doing differently? What are you thinking? One of the main things we'll be doing is incorporating digital PR into our SEO campaigns. Nice. The reason being is link building is becoming more and more important. I think with a lot of agencies using AI content and all these AI tools coming out, mm. I think the value of content is kind of going a little bit downhill. But link building is still very hard to replicate at a high level, right? So digital PR allows you to acquire links on sites that are very difficult to replicate if you're mm -hmm. doing digital PR correctly. Mm -hmm. It also future proofs our clients' rankings, stabilizes it as well. So that's definitely what we're incorporating going forward. Brilliant. Appreciate it. No worries. All right, guys. So we got Kevil here. Really good Twitter follow, by the way. Master e-commerce guy. What are you doing in 2025 with your SEO? What are you thinking? Yeah, so in 2025, there's going to be a lot of link building. Um, so SEO, it's changed a lot over the last couple of years. Um, and the, the CTR and the SERPs, it's just not what it used to be, right? You need to be number one if you want to really get a lot of clicks from Google nowadays. I mean, the best way to get number one lots of link building. We've had a lot of campaigns this year with clients where, you know, rankings have kind of stalled a little bit. We weren't able to see great progress until we started really increasing our link volume. Once we increased our link volume on those pages that were kind of lagging, we saw really big jumps in keyword rankings, number one spots, lots more traffic. So we're going to be building a lot more links in 2025. Fuck yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, absolutely.